Welcome back. Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And uh, the knife I have in front of you today is the CRKT Caligo. Um, it comes in right around $33 at Blade HQ. And this is a design by custom knife maker TJ Schwartz. Uh, TJ is known for, for some, some really cool designs. And when I saw that he was doing a collaboration with CRKT, I, I knew I had to jump on it because... Uh, all the knives I felt uh, had in hand that were designed by him, they all were nice and ergonomic and uh, they were aesthetically pleasing to me, which this knife was aesthetically pleasing. I'm not the biggest CRKT fan, but at $33, I could give it a shot. So what do we have here? You have this nice, attractive drop point blade that's hollow ground, and I will say it's nice and thinly ground. It's 0 .020 behind the edge. That's about the same thickness behind the edge as a, a Spider Codelica. You have this nice, almost full length swedge. They uh, stopped it a little bit before the tip, so your tip has a little bit more meat behind it. I, I like that. Um, you have a black oxide coating on here. I'm not a big fan of coated blades, but it just went well with this knife. So, you know, I may strip it later on down the road. We'll see. Um, on this side of the blade, you have the CRKT on that side. Flip it over. You have the name of the knife, the Caligo, I think it's called, Schwartz Design, and the little uh, symbol for the IKBS. This knife is riding on caged IKBS bearings, not the free-floating ones, so uh, it's easier to take apart. Um, up here, you have some jimping that it's, it's functional. We'll talk about that later. Um, and as you can see down here, they pretty much executed the sharpening choil pretty, almost perfect. You can see the line coming down right there. They may have, could have pushed it up a little bit, but after sharpening, it'll, it'll be perfectly fine. Um, I, I love to see that, you know, it, it didn't extend it too far to where you're, you're, you're catching stuff whenever you're trying to cut it. That's just perfect in my eyes. Love that. You know I'm a stickler for that kind of stuff. Uh, let's come back to the frame. You have some nice uh, black oxided 6061 T6 aluminum. So not the, not the, the cheapo stuff. I think that's air, aircraft grade aluminum. Uh, you have this very nice and sexy blue pivot collar. And it just really sets that, it, it just, that little accent sets this off. I mean, I, oh, I think it looks so good. Uh, you have these nice milled, almost looks like um, like overlays right here, but it's just milled into the aluminum, very nicely done. You have T8 Torx for your pivot and T6 for the, for the body screws, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. You have a nice, generous lanyard hole for all you lanyard people out there. You have an aluminum backspacer right here. Almost, it's about a half length backspacer, so you don't definitely don't have to worry about catching your finger. The blade's nice and deep into the uh, frame. You got, it's a flipper deployment, and the action on this guy is phenomenal. Uh, I don't think I can make it misfire, even when I do a soft, yeah, can't misfire it. No matter which way I do it, it, it rockets out. Um, you have... Some jimping on that flipper tab, and it's not sharp. It, it gets the job done. It's not uncomfortable to my hands. Um, flip it over on this side. You have a deep carry pocket clip, and they executed this perfectly. As you can see, those screws are countersunk in there, so you're not going to have to worry about them snagging it in, on your uh, material, your pants. And we'll see what it looks like in pockets. You got your flat pocket and your slanted pocket. Let's see what that looks like in the pocket. This is, I think they, they executed this really, really nicely. So as you can see, you still, you, you just have this that much sticking out. It, it's not, you know, not too much. And you got your lanyard hole, you know, to be able to still access it. And I like to be able to still be able to grab the knife and better pull it out, you know, not worrying about it falling, you know, falling out of my hands. And even in your slanted pockets, look, it still disappears in the pocket. So very, very well done, executed uh, pocket clip. Um, ergos on this guy. 
at first I was kind of worried with these these choils and stuff in this area right here, but it, I have a medium sized hand, and I mean it is perfection. You get it right here, this finger. You don't have an overly sized finger chaw, so maybe if you have some big, big mitts, this might not work for you. But this is not really sharp right here. Then this finger kind of lands right here. And I was worried that this was going to aggravate me whenever I would hold it. But that little swell right here in the back and that little dip down here, perfect, perfect in this manner right here. Uh, this grip right here is good. Your reverse grip is okay and uh this this grip right here i call it my pencil grip is really really nice you can you can get some nice penetration onto that tip and you can also scoot up like that you know if you need to watch the depth of your uh cuts um let's do some quick size comparisons real quick so you can kind of gauge on how big this guy is it's it's to me it's perfect edc size uh, let's see, we got the Spider Co Delica, and it's a little, it's a little bit bigger in the handle than Delica, and it's got a good bit more blade to it. Let's see, let's put this one up here. Let's see, you got the Kershaw. What is this one? The Dividend, I think it is. Dividend. I'm not sure. I might, I might have it wrong. I get this one and the next one mixed up, but you know you know which knife this is. Let's see. And then got another Kershaw. This is the one I can't remember the name of offhand for some reason. And almost the same size. You got about the same size handle. Uh, just a little bit more blade in the Caligo. And this next one, the uh, Stedman. BP02. I think these are the close, this is closely, as close as you can get, almost identical in size. You might have a little bit more blade in the Stedman, but almost identical. So there you go. Um, this, this knife also does a great job in the weight category at 3.37 ounces. Uh, you know, that, for me and how I like to carry my knives and the type of clothing I wear them, that's perfect, uh, perfect for me. Um, so I touched on all the great, and I'm just going to tell you right now, at $33, I think this is a great budget blade. Uh, it, it, it is rocking the HCR 13 MOV, which I... I it's, not a steel that I like, but when it's, it's at a cheaper price point and there's a lot of good, I'm okay with that because it sharpens up very easily and I can strop it up and maintain it. I've cut a good bit of stuff. Um, the coating's held up pretty good. I mean, eh, that's probably from shaving wood. And let me get, let me go over some of the, I had to kind of nitpick here because I, I like the knife a lot. So First thing I noticed, I was going to tear it down to give it a nice cleaning because whenever they have the IKBS in there, they usually use some like thick grease. So I wanted to take that down, but this knife is got tons of red Loctite on it, I'm guessing. It's basically glued shut, um, which I can overcome that, but I, I wanted to see, you know, some people who can't um, get them out. Just want to let you know, and not only is uh, it red loctited but the screws are rather soft I think I stripped out I think I stripped out this screw it's kind of flared out and I almost stripped that out but once I realized they were you know locked red loctited I kind of stopped and then I'll probably put a um, put my soldering iron on it later but I wanted to do that before I did the review I mean I'll do it after I do the review uh, and something else I noticed whenever I was when I was bearing down on the knife, uh, doing some wood shavings, I like to do that just so I can kind of get the feel of the ergos. And one I noticed when I was pushing down that how they got this almost crowned up here. It's not sharp, but, you know, where your finger's landing, you know, you're definitely pushing down. It, it's not painful, but just something to note. But whenever I was squeezing down, bearing down hard, and I can feel it right now, the back side of this clip, causes a hot spot it's, it's somewhat sharp and the inside of the scales are they have well my camera doesn't want to focus today they have some hard angles on there some 90 degree angles and uh it'd been nice if they would have kind of knocked that off but you know still it wasn't 
it wasn't bad enough to where I didn't want to use a knife. So what are my what are my thoughts and opinions of the CRKT Caliga? Well, if you're on the fence about it, I'd say definitely give it a shot. Um, it's one that will definitely surprise you. Hopefully they do some more designs with TJ Swartz. Um, it, it, it's pretty exciting. They usually get a lot of good designers. It would be nice to see them upgrade the steel to even 14C28N, but I don't, as from what they've said in, at SHOT Show, it doesn't look like they're doing that anytime soon. Well, you know, so what you see is what you get. And, um, you know, I was, I was okay with paying the $33. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I love talking with you guys. And uh, if uh, you own the, the Caligo, let me know what you think about it. I have heard some people say that their detent was, was really, really strong. Uh, mine, I, whenever I bought it from Blade HQ, I put in the notes to check to make sure it didn't have a super strong detent and make sure it was centered. Um, and it's, it's pretty close. It, it may be favoring the right side of just a hair, but I mean, to me, it's centered up enough, nothing to bother me. And uh, just whenever you order from those places, ask them to check those things, you know, because if not, you'll return it. So hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with all your friends and family, and I'll see you next time. Peace.